Is the counselor favoring you or not? Uh, in, in the terms of cashless, I know I also experienced what the cashless policy implemented. The issue is that it was very hard, very tough on us to actually practice this uh, cashless uh, policy. Reason because the, the, the network of it was so bad that we cannot transfer, we cannot do some uh, transactions online without uh, implementing uh, the, the uh, cash of a thing. So, and now that they revise it, me personally, I was, I, I, I'm saying that it will be remained the way they put it. Reason because so many people has, in, in one way or the other, lavish their money unnecessarily. And now they revise it back. It's as if it's like we are starting afresh from the scratch again. So that is why I would say that the cashless society of it, it also have the negative and the positive aspect of it. Thank you very much. So on the people that have led Nigeria since 1999. Okay. In the issue of the leadership, I know, I will say vividly, I experienced the, the leadership of uh, uh, Obasanjo. You understand? Down to the one that we are already in. I can say that uh, someone oh, like oh, uh, oh, Mr. Oh, President oh. of uh, Yaradua, that people are talking or saying good about him. I know really the man really wanted to do something. It's not if not that uh, that death caught him short. You understand? So I would say that the man was ready to do something that will implement good to the society or to the Nigeria as well. Then coming to Good luck, Jonathan. I know he tried his best. He tried. I would say he tried his best in a situation whereby even when he, wa he wanted to implement a, a removing of a subsidy, though so many of us didn't actually know the meaning of that subsidy until now, we we'll come to see that even that subsidy of a thing would have also do us well. So I am saying that uh, uh, the, uh, at least he plays his own uh, role. Then coming to our Baba Buhari himself, I will say, that the man also has good intention of going there. But, uh, but I'm sure maybe the people that are around him were unable to comply. You understand? So it makes us not to feel much more positive side of it. So I will say that uh, he's also tried his best, but not to our expectation. God bless you. Finally, what advice do you have for person presently there and the person who is planning to take over uh, my advice is that whosoever that goes there that mounts on that seat should remember that he's not just there he's not just there for his own uh, uh, personal interest he should carry people along even the masses and do things that will benefit them so that even if when you live there there will be a legacy people will remember you and say good of you not you going there you feel that you are going there for your own power you are going there only to, to enrich your pocket. You are going there only for the betterment of your, your family or maybe your village. But if you are there and you remember that there are people that you are to lead, you must lead by example. Whatever that you don't want them to do, you should be able to as well. You understand? Show the example of it. That is what makes a leader. So a leader is not just after his own intention, but also the intention, the, the good of the people that he's leading. So anybody that is going there, whosoever that is there, should remember that. You are there for the masses, not only there for yourself. Thank you.